have some breaking news here out of Brighton High School. A school resource officer, apparently they're attacked by a student. KSL's Lad Egan joins us live from the scene right now. So Lad, what, what do you know? What can you tell us? Well, Sharon Dan, uh, police here in Cottonwood Heights are calling this an unprovoked attack on a school resource officer at Brighton High School. They say it happened first thing this morning. They say that a student was there meeting in the counseling department about returning to school, and that's when there was some sort of a commotion. The school resource officer not inside this initial meeting, but comes to help. That's when there is a struggle. The school resource officer trying to get this student out of the building and during that process police say that the student reached for the officer's gun and that there was a struggle and that the student was uh, allegedly choking and biting and attacking this officer they were on the ground right in front of the school luckily there were parents that were at the school that jumped into action let me hear let you hear directly from Cottonwood Heights police about what happened next Pretty severe. I mean, this this young man um, was trying to get her, her gun away from her, um, you know, biting her, strangling her. Um, and, and luckily, we had some parents that were in the building this morning uh, that, that piled on to help and, uh, and, and jumped on top of her. You know, she, she had him on the ground, was holding him down. And uh, these, these nice parents, these bystanders jumped on, you know, to help. And, and uh, you know, he, he was trying to get her gun away from her. She was trying to hold on to her gun and hold on to him and, um, and instructed one of the parents to, to grab her taser and, and use her taser. So one of the parents grabbed her taser and tased this young man. Which, uh, just incredible to hear what happened there in front of the school. Uh, heroic parents jumping into action. And you heard there, uh, one of the dads was told to use the officer's taser on this young student. And uh, the parent did that. And the officer was then able to handcuff the student and take him into custody. The officer is at the hospital being checked out for any possible injuries. And the student also went to the hospital to be checked out after being tased. Uh, so you could just imagine uh, the scene there outside of Brighton High School. Conwood Heights Police say this is uh, their biggest fear, a student uh, using a gun at school. And they tell me that the student somehow verbalized that that was his intent was to use the gun at Brighton High School. So uh, just very fortunate that the parents were there and were able to jump into action. I'm here at a police headquarters, and if you know this area, you know that Brighton High School is just uh, across the street here. Uh, but this happened so quickly that backup officers were not able to arrive in time, and it took the parents jumping into action. Uh, that student, we're told, uh, will be released from the hospital and then booked into juvenile detention. Uh, it is a juvenile case, so there, there's not very many details they can give to us, but they say uh, there could be uh, very uh, many possible felony charges that this student would face. Dan and Cher, this is developing. We're just gathering this information, but we wanted to make sure we told you what had happened this morning at Brighton High School. Wow, lad. I mean, that was a lot to process there with all of that unfolding. The parents jumping yeah. in, the officer now at the hospital. Uh, is, is What's going on at the school at this moment? Is everything back to, to what's happening? Yeah, everything uh, n normal there at the high school. Again, this happened, it, this started in the counseling office, uh, the struggle, but then it moved out in front of the school, right outside of the lobby. Uh, Brighton High School just went, underwent a, a complete rebuild, so a brand new school, and it was out in front of, of the lobby. And uh, a lot of construction going on there. I did see a police car parked out in front, but the school day is continuing as normal. But Conwood Height Poli uh, Police just say uh, they couldn't imagine if this, it, this turned worse than it was in terms of the student trying to grab the officer's gun. And fortunately, the parents were there to jump into action. Now, these weren't the parents of the boy. These were parents that were just out in the parking lot, were at the school for another reason, and were able to jump into action. Wow. Incredible, Lad. Wow. Lad Egan reporting live. Uh, kudos to those parents uh, for preventing what could have been worse. Uh, thanks, Lad.